Back in 2020, Mattel released the He-Man Origins line. And a lot of people, myself included, laughed at the over-the-top distribution of this line. These things were everywhere. They were like flooding the pegs and falling off of end caps. Despite the perceived crazy amount of these that were produced, some of them have like spiked quite a bit and they're pretty valuable, which makes no sense to me, but here we go. This is the most valuable He-Man Origins figures. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. Together, we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is Nerdzoic. All right, folks, before I get into this top 10, we got some rules. First off, there'll be no 2022 releases because those numbers are thrown off by scalpers. That means you won't see Koldar, Snout Spout, Leech, Wondar, Pighead, or Mantena. I have no clue if I messed any of those names up because I'm not 100% sure who a couple of those characters even are. There also won't be any con or limited release exclusives in this because that ain't fair. However, we'll do them as honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one is the Shira 35th Anniversary PowerCon exclusive, originally going for $30 and now goes for $154. Honorable mention number two is Faker and Duplicat, a PowerCon exclusive that originally went for $60 is now going for $237. Honorable mention number three is the Secrets of Grayskull accessory pack, which was again a PowerCon exclusive. It originally went for $30, now it's going for $90. Honorable mention number four is Triclops with his mini comic. This was a Mattel exclusive. It originally went for $17, now it's going for $79. Honorable mention number five is the Skeletor Art of Engineering figure, which was a Mattel exclusive. Originally it went for $50, now it's going for $246. Honorable mention number six, He-Man and Prince Adam 2-Pack, the SDCC exclusive. Originally $40, now it's going for $280. That's a lot of honorable mentions. Let's head to the top 10. Coming in at number 10 is Orko. He came out in 2020, he was part of Wave 2, and he's currently going for $29. Bucks. Orko was not part of the original toy line, but he was later manufactured after he was introduced as comic relief in the original cartoon. He's basically like the He-Man version of Jar Jar Binks. He first appeared in the first episode of He-Man back in 1983, the Cosmic Comet. He's also a big part of last year's Masters of the Universe Revelation Netflix series that Kevin Smith put together, and he used Orko's death to make me cry. Not cool, Kevin. Coming in at number nine is Zodak, released in 2020 as part of Wave 3. He's currently going for $32, which is a 118% increase. Zodak is actually one of the first characters conceived by Mattel back in the day of creating this toy line. Originally, his toy name was Evil Cosmic Enforcer, however, somehow that became Zodak. In the DC Masters of the Universe comic book series, he serves as a neutral character who watches over the Eternia universe. Coming in at number eight is Stratos. He was released in 2020. He's currently going for $33, which is a 122% increase. Stratos is the leader of a race of bird people who happen to have the power of flight and other bird-like features. The bird people are allies of He-Man and Stratos is one of He-Man's most trusted allies. Originally, Mattel intended for Stratos to be evil, but as they fleshed out his storyline, that changed. Fun fact we learned while researching this episode. The original toy has brass knuckle looking things on his one fist. Well, in the mini comics, even though it's not in the cartoon, he's actually shooting some lasers from there, so there's a reason for it. Coming in at number seven is Man at Arms, released in 2020, part of Wave 1. He's going for $34, which is a 127% increase. Man at Arms is one of the first four characters ever made by Mattel back in the day. Also known by his real name of Duncan, little is known about him at first, other than the fact that his people are the master of all things weapons. In the cartoon, he takes on multiple roles as an inventor, as a soldier, as the adoptive father of Tila and mentor to Prince Adam. Coming in at number six is Manny Faces. Manny Faces came out in 2020 as part of Wave 2. He's currently going for $35, which is a 132% increase. First appearing in the Mattel mini comic, The Ordeal of Manny Faces, and having a first cartoon appearance in The Mystery of Manny Faces, Manny Faces is one of the characters developed for the second wave of figures in the early 1980s. In the comic, he's an actor captured by Skeletor and made drink a potion which turns him into a vicious monster. He may later freeze Manny Faces from the spell, but he keeps the same physical appearance as the monster, which makes you wonder. Maybe that's what happened to me. Coming at number five is Roboto, released in 2020 as part of Wave 3. He's currently going for $38, which is a 156% increase. Built and fathered by Man at Arms, he is the only fully mechanical heroic warrior, which means he is invulnerable to pain and has a computer brain, which means super smart. Roboto was first introduced to the toy line in 1985 and only had one cartoon appearance, but in fairness, the entire cartoon was about him. I believe the episode title was Hela Delgato, Mr. Roboto. Oh, 
What, that's wrong? Coming in at number four is Ninjor, released in 2020, part of Wave 4. He's currently going for $41, which is a 174% increase. Ninjor first appeared in the Search for Keldor mini-comic, where he is featured as one of the most evil characters who was ever conceived. That is saying a lot. Ninjor is a shinobi warrior in League with Skeletor, and he's one of the last releases in the original 1980s toy line and considered to be a pretty obscure character. Truth be told, I have no idea who he is. I never had that toy as a kid. I wonder if he knows Oroko Saki or Hamato Yoshi. Coming in at number three is She-Ra, released in 2020 as part of Wave 3. This is currently going for $49, which is a 229% increase. She-Ra is the twin sister of Prince Adam, aka He-Man, and was the key character in the Princess of Power toy line and cartoon, which was spun off from Masters of the Universe in 1985. The cartoon was actually even rebooted back in 2018 and got a two-year run out of it. First introduced in The Secret of the Sword, also known as Andorra, She-Ra is one of my first cartoon crushes, and when she's given the Sword of Protection, she becomes She-Ra. Best I got. Coming in at number two is Trap Jaw, which was released in 2020 as part of Wave 2. It's currently going for a whopping $50, which is a 231% increase. Trap Jaw is a cyborg with a shark tooth jaw and robotic arm, which can be mounted with different weapons, which comes in handy when you're trying to fight He-Man, who is pretty much more powerful than your entire army put together. Trapjaw is portrayed as a psychotic criminal who Skeletor accidentally brings back with him on a journey to another dimension. Supposedly, this character was inspired by Jaws, the villain from the Moonraker Bond movie. I've always been a fan of this character design just because of the blue and green in the design, and he's one of the older figures ever released. Alright, you probably can't guess who number one is, so I guess I'm just gonna tell you. Coming in at number one is Triclops, released in 2020 as part of Wave 4. He's currently going for seven $72, which is a 381% increase. First appearing in the Terror of Triclops mini comic, he is one of the first characters designed for the original toy line. Surprisingly, according to the line creators, he was originally conceived as a hero, but they later decided to make him evil. His three eyes give him the ability to see anything going on around them. He's kind of like a Doctor Strange, but in Eternia. The original He-Man is one of my favorite cartoons of all time, but does it hold up today? Well, I answer that question in this video here, where I tier rank all the cartoons from the 80s and 90s. Go check it out. And remember, you gotta get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool, stay nerdy. Later.